Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is what over £4,000 worth of graphics cards look like. Now, first of all, apologies for the sound quality uh, and possibly the video on this, but uh, I was going to record this through the 5D with my expensive microphone and blah, 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 but unfortunately, the 5D batteries went flat. Now, I'd like to say a big thank you to EMD for these two. All right. Um, we have an AMD Fire Pro W9132 gig card worth about three and a half grand. Um, and we have a Radeon Pro WX7100 with eight gig of RAM. Um, so I thought I'd do a bit of an unboxing. Now I know you all want to see this one, but to coin a sexual analogy, you don't blow your load for straight away. So what we're going to do is open this one and have a look and see what's inside it. Now at the moment I'm running, um, and have been for years, an old GeForce 550Ti with allegedly 2 gig of RAM, although it might as well have 2 bloody megabytes, it's useless. And it was one of the reasons why uh, I stopped doing a lot of high-end stuff personally was because it was just, it was painful to use. So stepping up is going to be um, an interesting experience, put it that way. Now if I can get this bloody thing open. I'm going to try and push it from one end and push it to the other. Now this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, install this one for a week. I'm going to use it day to day in, in the stuff I'm doing uh, with Kiosk Group, which will push it very hard. I will then do some stuff on it, like a night time and stuff, and do some stress tests. I will do a video once this is installed, hopefully tonight. Just a quick one. Then I will do another one in the midweek, sort of Wednesday or Thursday time. Um, given my initial reactions and then a final one uh, at the end of the week on Saturday or Sunday um, so I'll have run it for a week and I'm going to give some very big stress tests so what do we have in here right well we've got a nice leaflet uh, quick setup guide which has got some nice blue pages and white pages and tells you all about the drivers display stuff now um, this one can support, I think it's, um, let's have a look now, it has four uh, HDMI outputs so you can have four 4K monitors on this, um, it's, you know, it's, it's a really nice card, is basically what I'm saying. Now, this one has, I think I think it's about 125 watts or something like that, a power pull on this maximum warranty information, cool. um, compliance information, Extended seven-year warranty and three-year limited warranty. Blah 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 blah. You know where they're going. Yeah, in a draw somewhere. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be quite a step up for me doing a lot of this stuff. But I didn't want to put the Radeon in straight away. Um, you know, thirty-two gig one because I know that's got a much higher pull, about two hundred odd watts, and I might need to upgrade this power supply. I might be all right, but I want to check first. Right. Uh, that is a three pin uh, adapter I think that is for real like 3D monitors and stuff if you can see that I'm trying to look from the top there um, so you can plug that in if I want to use a 3D monitor and we have in here, these are going to really useful um, adapters from HDMI to the monitor jobby ends, I don't know if you can see that so that's basically what I'm going to be using it means then I'll be able to, the two monitors up here I'll be able to, not, at the moment it's all stretched around the back of here um, so that, that, that comes in handy. Put that over there. We've got lots and lots of this stuff. I've got loads of this stuff. And f you know, this is from like the box I took out earlier on. If you're a musician, this stuff is great as acoustic insulation, right? It's great to put behind the microphone or stuff like that, and it, it helps the sound. Um, so I always keep all of that. And these neat, nice wobbly thingy bobs. The foam. We don't need that bit. We have another bit here, and inside here is the graphics card itself, which is a lovely blue colour. So, turn it around, and it has a Radeon Pro WX7100. Uh, as I say, it's an 8 gig card, it's got a nice little AMD logo on there. Um, you've got a power point there, but I'll tell you what, I'll take it out of the bag. What we have as the back of it, you can see the four HDMI's there, and the cooling. Um, it's got a bridge there, and it's got power supply, so that one should work straight away in my system, uh, no problems whatsoever. 
Um, now I'm going to move this carefully because that's the one I want to put in in a minute. Once I've finished this video, and this is the one you probably want to look. What comes in a box for a Gravis card worth over £3,500? Let's find out. I already know, because to be honest, I've already opened this and had a look. But uh, the back of the box um, basically tells you about it. it this is capable of 5.24 teraflops at peak single precision and 2.62 teraflops at peak double precision floating point formats. This is a bit um, like a bloody supercomputer, right? There's 32 gigs of GDDR5 graphics memory. It means you can edit 4K video with mobile effects and layers and all sorts of clever shit without it grinding to a halt. Um, you could, if you could afford it, have up to four of these uh, working together. So then you'd have multi GP support. Now that would give you 128 gigabytes of RAM. I'm not sure why you would need that um, unless you're working with a big firm, but yeah. So this is a this is a really powerful card. I think it's. I think I'm right in saying it's the one, either the most or one of the most powerful production graphics cards around at the moment. Um, so it's, you know, it's fairly bloody good. So me going from an old 550 uh, Ti Nvidia card to this is going to be a dramatic change. So um, we have the card itself. Now, most of the time, if you're spending this amount of money on a graphics card, there's a good chance that you have a render farm or a small firm or a large firm, and you're going to have an IT support guy to help you with this in the whole department. I have me, right? Luckily, I'm rather bright, so it's not a problem. This is an absolute beast of a card. Um, it is about two inches thick. I'm not sure if you can see with the reflections there. It's about two inches deep. It's over 12 inches long. It's got two power... Uh, so it's there, and I'm going to see if there's anything else. At the back here, which you might be able to see, I'll try my best, but it has six mini HDMI inputs, right? Six. Now this means you can have six monitors running at 4K at the same time. And with that, I think I'm right in seeing you could also have something like an Oculus Rift powered as well. So this is not going to run out of power anytime soon, for any reason. This is a powerful, powerful card, and I'm really going to be interested in when I get around to running that in about a week's time. Um, as I say, I want to update the power supply. I do not want to um, put it in when it's underpowered. We've got lots and lots of this stuff, which is good, because I've got some paintings to mail at some point. And padding comes in handy. So, in the little tiny box, what have we got? We've got a couple of little dongles, um, which are basically uh, mini DP uh, SLD VI. So, they go on the back of the card for your monitors, right? In here, we have little bracketed jobs, which I think is to do if you're running it like in an SLI type configuration, you know, dual cards. <coughs> Chance of me ever having more than one of these. Oh, I see not. We have the driver disc because with an expensive card like this, it's always good to have a drive this disc really, isn't it? It really is. Um, it has a nice cardboard here. It's lit, it runs through um, what level it's at. And this is the extreme high-end card. Uh, and this could do six monitors. There's only three cards can do six monitors that they put out. And that's this one, the W9000, the W600. Now, mini display port, yeah. It can be used for digital signage or security or else if you want to melt, you know, all sorts of stuff. This is not a low power card, right? For under any circumstances whatsoever. This is a very, very, very powerful card and needs a lot of wattage. Now it's scoring pretty high. Um, in Max Maya, um, what they've done is they've basically got a meal head scan um, with a camera animation over 15,000 frames in one viewport with a realistic viewport and 10K TIFF use as a texture. Right, texture sets. So it's getting very, very high uh, in Max and Maya. I know, because I've been told by Jamie who at AMD who sent me this, to be honest, I thought he was just he just asked me for an address and I thought he was gonna send me a t-shirt or something. But no, I've got thousands of pounds worth of graphics cards. Not that I'm complaining of course, he knows I'll torture it. Um 
so I know it's really good with Nuke, I know it's good for Mari, uh, you know, this is capable of some, you know, quite spectacular stuff. Quick installation guide, um, it's in English, and it's got lots and lots of nice, easy to understand, if somewhat badly drawn, or badly traced, <laughs> Is on it, you can see this, but what they've done is they've taken a photograph in Photoshop and put the transparency about 25% and then traced over the top of it. You know, I'd say, you know, I would like to have seen maybe a bit a better drawing if they're going to use drawings on this. Um, that's the only complaint I have at the moment. And it's, it's all straightforward stuff that tells you what to do, blah 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 blah, how you can use the catalyst control center, you know, to nail multiple monitors and but make it do nice things basically <coughs> and it shows you support for um you know the ifinity technology um but yeah this is capable of you know such wondrous things i am very very much looking forward to giving that a go because i see i have to upgrade the, the power supply or i'm pretty sure i'll have to because it pulls that much um, power out of the system. I don't want to run out. I also might upgrade the RAM while I'm on because this machine's only running 16 gig, which is at one time was considered high, now it's considered rather low. So, um, suffice to say that uh, the time has come for me to upgrade because if you don't, if you have 16, 16 gig is a minimum that you should have for this card. Um, the main reason for that is um, if you have any less than that, you'll have more texture swapping. Because even though this is an immensely, stupidly overpowered uh, GPU with a lot of RAM, it still needs to be able to swap textures and stuff over. Um, so if you have too, too little RAM, it'll bite you on the backside, basically. So I'm going to put this one away. Um, and I'm going to put the 7100 in to the machine in a bit and hopefully it goes you know without the hitch so yeah hopefully I've, I've never done an unboxing before but again massive thanks to AMD uh, and to Jamie McWilliam for sending it over um, especially uh, as I say I just thought he was going to send me some t-shirts and a few AMD pens or something and yeah so anyway time to get the work but yeah, if the sound's a bit dodgy in this, I do apologise, but this is the only camera I have which um, has battery. The other one, the, the, can, the can of batteries are on charging downstairs, and it's, yeah, it might take ages. So anyway, yeah, so you can tell I'm rather excited now. Bye-bye.